That's right. We came across hundreds of comments on social media from fans about their concerns. Some say they sat in traffic for almost five hours and never got in. A chaotic situation for many families. I have never experienced something like that. If ever there was a situation where a refund I think is warranted, it's a situation like this. After hours and hours of waiting in traffic, by 9.30 p.m., Catherine Ennis and her family decided it was time to go home. These videos show the number of drivers trying to get to the pavilion at Star Lake for the Dead & Company show. I mean, we saw elderly folks, you know, out of their cars, walking on the side of the highway. It was... I've never seen anything like that. Jennifer Koss described the situation as a wild experience. And every time we looked at the GPS, it was like, you have 10 miles in an hour and a half. You have five miles in an hour and a half. And ultimately unsafe. And they should refund people. It, it, it's an astounding, this sounds dramatic, but I said it's an astounding abdication of responsibility. The way they just absolutely wash their hands of what they were paid to do. Pavilion at Star Lake sent Pittsburgh's Action News for a statement saying in part, we understand that traffic delays and parking issues can be frustrating for fans. Our crew is proactively connecting with fans who entered the venue after the start of the show and will be working to make improvements to our parking operations. A spokesperson added when there's a sold out show, they increase staffing and parking access. I asked if people who couldn't get into the show will get a refund, but never got a response. I hope that they get things resolved. I hope that they can make things right. And I seriously hope that there were no injuries when people were leaving last night. That was our biggest concern and why we ultimately decided to turn around. And the Hanover Township Police Department helped Starlake with traffic. We went there today for more information, but the chief wasn't in. The next concert here is on this Saturday when Hank Williams Jr. performs, followed by the Dave Matthews Band later this month. Reporting live from Washington County, Ashley Zilka, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.